Midwest, Northeast, Illinois, comma, Chicago suburbs. Hi, who's this? Hey, Eric, it's Dan Luters. Hi, Dan. <laughs> How are you? I'm great. How are you? Good. You've made quite an I excellent you, theme song for me. Oh, fantastic. Have you been using it? Not yet. I've got to get it loaded up here. Oh, I want to start great, using it. Great. I've got, I've got, uh, Dan Luters was, uh, has made just the, the, the best theme song I've ever heard. And uh, I'm going to use it for Tech Talk Back and also for some other things I'm working on. Uh, but it is so cool. And he is the master of, of theme songs. So, Dan, I've never gotten to talk to you, and I'm sure others are very interested, too, because you make all the theme songs just amazing, awesome theme songs that, that sound, you know, like they just came off the radio or off of a, of a professional album. Uh, why don't you tell the folks... A little, a little bit about your setup. Um, what, do you, what do you do? What is your, what is your, what is your day job? What is the, what is the setup like in your? Is it a, is it a home studio or, or how do you have that going? And uh, what, what software and tools do you, do you use? Oh yeah, sure. Um, well, I live out in uh, Streamwood, Illinois, which is about, uh, I don't know, about forty-five minutes west of uh, downtown Chicago, and uh, I, I work in children's ministry at uh, a mega church out here called Willow Creek Community Church. And we have like 18,000 people coming through each weekend, you know, so we have a huge children's ministry and I'm the uh, music director and I create music for kids all the way from two-year-olds to, you know, 12-year-olds. And there's a team of people here too uh, that I have other writers that help uh, with lyrics and stuff like that. I'm, I'm mostly uh, a songwriter and a producer you know, the whole uh, podcast world has been a tremendous, has really, really helped us. Great audio uh, podcasts out there that kind of, you know, guys like me, you know, just kind of trading their secrets about how, oh, that's how you do that. Oh, that's how you do that. Okay. You know, and how you can do things, you know, on a shoestring budget, you know. Yeah, uh, podcasting has, I, has ignited this whole, uh, a whole new uh, hobbyist territory in, in audio and video production. Absolutely, absolutely. So I developed a little uh, studio called Why Me Studios, and, uh, you know, so I do, that's where, how we met. Uh, I do a little work on the side with uh, Leo, and uh, I've done some stuff with CNET, and I actually did a, a theme song for a coffee shop in Bangkok, of all things. A theme song <laughs> that, for a coffee shop? Good. How does that work? Is it, is, is it a show they're doing? No, it's it's just a uh, an MP3 that they loop throughout the coffee shop, you know, every you know half hour the theme song comes on. <laughs> if you want, if you go to uh, danluders dot com, that's D A N L U E D E R S dot com, and all everything I'm doing is on there. And what's yeah. it called? Oh, iCoffee. Uh, iCoffee. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's hear what this sounds like. We've got the best coffee, cappuccino, mi amigo, americano, coco mocha, perfecto, espresso, frappe, cappuccino, a sandwich today, a fruit smoothie, tasty cookies, or lots and lots and lots of lots. Dan, that's great. <laughs> How did you? Oh, I, that muted him as well. Okay, you, now I should hear you. Um, that's great. How did? How did that? How did that happen? How did they contact you? You said that's an, uh, for a coffee shop in Bangkok. How did they? How did they find you? How did that whole thing work? That's funny. I've never heard of a theme song for a, 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 a any kind of establishment that would just like you said it like plays like on the hour or something in their in their store. Yeah, so, something like that. I haven't. I, it was about a year ago, and it actually came through the Daily Gizwiz that. Uh, um, like said, hey, I like I like what you're doing. Uh, I need a theme. <laughs> okay, <laughs> no problem. That's so, funny. Yeah, a little deep, little Beatle esque, a little just fun play on words. Uh, the tricky part is just doing something catchy, something that somebody's going to walk away humming. You know, absolutely. I mean, you you are the master, in my opinion, of doing uh, catchy theme songs, catchy jingles. And, and how do you get how do you get such a uh, it was such a professional sound because all your stuff sounds so well mixed. Are you using some kind of uh, mastering? Uh, well, how are you mastering it? Are you using like multi-band compression or something on the way out? Um, 
really, really the, the trick to it is, and it, it may sound simple, is just make sure it's good going in. You know what I mean? Just make sure. Uh, I, I never have the attitude, uh, I'll fix it in the mix. You know, I'll fix it later. It's like when, when I'm committing it to recording, have it be pretty close to the way I want it to sound at the end. And at the end, I just use either um, one of the things that, um, again, I learned this from a podcast from my friend Alan Wagner at the, uh, oh, uh, gosh, he hasn't had a podcast, I, I, this uh, Project Studio Network podcast. And uh, he swore by, you know, what's, what's happening in the digital world is as everything is uh, from analog has gone digital that, what has been lost is the distortion that that nice harmonic distortion that happens through an analog console. And so the funny thing is, is I've got plugins now to kind of bring that back, like tape saturation. There's something about when a when an audio hit, signal hits tape really hard, it starts to break up, but in a real musical way. Well, mm -hmm. now there's plugins that do that. So that's that's I think that's what your ear is hearing. It's kind of like it sounds like it's on the radio because it's kind of breaking up a little bit, but it's pleasing to the ear. You know, so I use it's like uh, a, it's a pleasing uh, distortion. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's, a, it's it, yeah, yeah. How long does it take you to do a, t a typical uh, uh, theme song for a twit? Not including that one because <laughs> that was a stickler <laughs> on a lot of things. But uh, for you know, you know a basic I, one where they just say you know think of something go. Yeah, four four to eight hours. Somewhere, somewhere in that neighborhood. Depends on the complexity, you know. Like th that particular one that we did, there was seven separate guitar parts, a bass part, and then the drums. So it, it wasn't that complex. It's just that we had a we had a, a ball tweaking it and just getting it just right, and, and it was fun actually. Um, uh, uh, typically, you know, for it depends. It depends. Like uh, the one I did for my personal favorite is the one I did with uh, Dr. Tiki. The uh, her theme show. I love that one. That was the, that was the one actually where I saw and I thought, man, Dan Luters can write pop songs. I mean, that is like I heard yeah, that and it was yeah. like something that you would hear on the radio. The Dr. Kiki Science Hour theme. Oh, shoot! Maybe it's not the. Oh, here we go. Here come the lyrics. Here you go. I'm not sure if everyone are, uh, have heard the lyrics before, but uh, but yeah, that that was uh, that's a, that's an awesome song, and it's clearly something that I mean, you could hear that on the radio, right? That's that's awesome. Yeah, yeah. Thanks. Well, man. yeah. I so, that. well, thanks so much, uh, Dan, and uh, thanks for staying on and, and talking. I think uh, uh, some some interesting stuff. I've always wanted to always wanted to find out some of the stuff like that about how you how you make your songs, how you make the Twit theme songs. Um, and to debut the one you made for me, and I'll play that out. I'll use that to play uh, myself out at the end of this show. Uh, so uh, <laughs> tell people, where can they find you, and, and uh, do you offer, can people uh, hire you to make uh, theme songs like that for things they might be working on themselves? Absolutely. Yeah, you just go to uh, danluders.com. That's D-A-N-L-U-E-D-E-R-S.com. It's spelled like Lou, Lou, yeah. Ed Lou Edders is how I remember it. Uh, Lou but yeah. Well, just think of uh, 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 Lou like Lou. There it is. Yeah, you got it. Dan yeah. Luders, maker of the awesome Twit theme songs. Uh, thanks so and much. Actually, I, I don't. I don't have a body. Just eyes. I just have <laughs> eyes. That's, that's all I have. Well, you're. It, it works, I guess. Because <laughs> you're making awesome <laughs> theme songs. All right. Thanks so much, no. Dan. I'm watching you. I'm watching. <laughs> the eyes of Dan Luders are watching. <laughs> all right, man. Have yourself a great day. All right. You too. Talk to you Take soon. Care. Bye.